Good morning. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Strength. I'm Nicole. I've had about two weeks off of vacation, so I'm getting back at it. Um, so today all you will need is a, if you have a bench of some kind, good morning. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Um, so you need a bench, whether it's a, um, I have my big kind of weight bench, or if you have a step bench or a stool, um, that would work. And if you don't have any of that, that's fine too. But if you have maybe a chair instead, cause you might want that. Um, and then your weights, a variety of weights would be good. So if you have something a little bit heavier, a little bit lighter, uh, that's great for options. Hi Lori, good morning. And then your sweat towel and water. I'm already sweating. I just got done with Liz's class, so I'm nice and warmed up, which is good. I needed that warm up. I could hardly move this morning. <laughs> so if any, anybody out there can relate to that, um, make sure you warm up and we'll do that. We'll give everybody just another 30 seconds to get started. Um, and if you had some time off like I did with two weeks of camping, uh, we were very active, but not this kind of traditional, you know, with weights and whatnot. So just start really light today. If you're just getting started or you've had some time off, start light, listen to your body. And then the next time you can always go a little heavier. Or if you have those um, options of lighter and heavier, then that's awesome. All right. Good morning, Lucy. So let's go ahead and warm up. We're going to just start with our knee taps. Just kind of loosening up, getting that heart rate going. Remember, if you have a watch, you might want to start that. <clears throat> so again, this morning, if you have some kind of bench, whether it's a low step bench, a um, traditional you know, weight bench, a stool, a chair, something like that would be handy as well. And then I'll give uh, modifications um, as we go along. So. All right, just getting warmed up. Four, three, two, and let's get those hip circles with our little shuffle. Knee up and over, and then add that shuffle. Just like you're stepping up over something. Good job, you guys. Four, three, two, and one right there. Let's get a couple squats in there. I'm just gonna take it down and up. Sitting back in those heels, squeeze those glutes. <sighs> squeeze those quads. Let's engage that upper body. Let's squeeze those triceps as you stand up. Shoulders are back. Breathe. Good work, you guys. Nice job. Keep going. Hi, Kayla. Good morning. All right. I'm seeing some thumbs up out there. Nice job, you guys. I had an awesome vacation. Can't complain when you get to sit around in the sun and play in the water for two weeks. All right, four more. Three, two, and one right there. All right, so we're gonna take this to alternating just to work a little bit of stability. And I'm not doing these in the workout, so let's do this in our warm up. Just an alternating deadlift to work that stability and balance and then come up and then alternate legs so back is flat and straight so as you tip over keep that upper back engaged that standing leg is straight doesn't need to be locked out that back toe is pointed down so i'm just feeling those hamstrings engage a little bit right there and then use those hamstrings to pull back up Good job. If you lose your balance, that's okay. I know I'm not very far back. I got this bench here. All right, so really keep that upper back strong and straight. Abs are pulled in. Just 
feeling that little bit of a hamstring and then lift. I love this one. It works that balance, core, strength, stability, everything. Go at your pace. Good work. Okay, let's do about four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right there. Good job. Shake those legs out. If you need a little stretch, let's do that. Just nice active stretch. You don't have to hold it for too long. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our, hi Cameron, good morning. We're gonna start with our bench and we're gonna do some step ups. So let me just show you really quick. I'm gonna stay on one side um, and I'm gonna leave my foot up there. So if you have a step, bench, a chair, this traditional bench, weight bench, you're gonna keep one foot up there. If you're using weights, those weights are gonna be at your side. If you're not using weights, then just your hands can be here or at your side. And we're gonna just drive that knee up and then down, okay? So if you've got those weights, so if you're gonna grab weights, grab those weights. If you're not gonna do these without, or do these without weights, then you're right here. I'm gonna do these without weights. So I'm gonna drive this knee up and then down, up, and down. So this foot that's on the bench or the step or the stool or the floor, make sure you're driving that heel into that floor. Abs are in. Drive that knee to the ceiling and step down. Keep that chest lifted. Good, you guys. We're going to do about 16 on each side. Whoop, you lose your balance. It's all right. All right, let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. Got that other foot on the bench. Make sure it's right on the solid part. I'm gonna push that whole foot and heel into that bench. Drive that knee up and then down. Go at your pace. Shoot to do 16. Give or take a couple. I'm doing this on the floor or a low bench. I'm just right here. You get out of line if you're on the floor. A little tap back to challenge yourself a little bit more. All right, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Good work, you guys. Shake those legs out. All right, from there, we're gonna take it into bridges using that same bench. Hey, Tony, good morning. All right, so I'm gonna be facing this way. I think you still should see my legs at least. So feet are gonna be up on that bench, that chair, the floor. So I'll do a couple up here and then I'll do some on the floor so you can see that. If you want to add weights, you could add some hand weights, place them right on your thighs, but then you're going to lift up, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings, and then come down, just barely tap, and then lift. Down and up. Abs are pulled in. And breathe. So 
should be feeling this in those hamstrings, glutes. So working the back side. Good work, you guys. Come on. So you're either doing this weighted or no weights. Good work. Press those feet into that bench, that chair, the floor, and squeeze those glutes up to the ceiling. Hopefully you can see me. All right, let's do eight, seven, six, five, do four more, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. <laughs> Maybe you only saw my knees, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna repeat that whole thing again, starting with the uh, step ups and then doing another set of those bridges. So carefully come back up. If you need a drink, grab a drink. If you need a stretch, grab a stretch. If you want to add weights the second round, add weights. So those would just be some dumbbells that you're holding at your side. Um, otherwise, you're going to place that foot right in that bench or step or floor. And then drive that knee up. Down. Up. Really push into that bench. Squeeze that glute on the back side. Feel that quad pushing in. Good work, you guys. Come on. Challenge yourself. If this is not challenging, add some weights. If you're doing it on the floor, add that little lunge back. All right, we got eight more. Eight, seven, six. Might be getting your heart rate up a little bit on this one. Five, four more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we got another side. All right, here we go. Find that spot on the bench. And we're gonna drive that knee. Drive up and down. Nice and controlled down. Some are more controlled than others. Good work, you guys. Come on, push that heel, foot into that bench or chair, stool, drive that knee up, breathe, come on, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, four more, one and one Whew. all right shake those legs out all right we have another set of those bridges so like I said I, I couldn't really tell if I was fully in there or not I think I am um, feet are gonna go up on your bench or if they're just on the floor they're gonna just be right here right and you're gonna just be lifting those hips to the ceiling, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those hamstrings, pushing those feet into the floor. If you want added weight, you could place some dumbbells right on those upper thighs. Good work. All right, find your challenge. I'm gonna go back to the bench. Keep going. Here we go. All 
All right, you guys, good job. Whatever it is, make it work for you. Make each one count. Squeeze. Squeeze those glutes. Engage those hamstrings. Breathe. Abs are in. Good work, you guys. Come on. All right, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You got this. Come on. Three more. Three. Two. Hold this last one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Keep pressing. Little pulse. Right here. Little pulse. Come on. Squeeze. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. While you're down here, let's take one leg up. Right here. Get a nice stretch. Stretch that hamstring while we're down here. And other side. Good job, you guys. Anybody else have sweaty shins? All right, carefully roll it up. All right, carefully bring it all the way up if you need to sit up first and then stand up, right? Let the blood get back to your brain before you jump up, okay? So listen to your body. It's a warm one right now. So, all right, grab a drink. We're going to be moving on to chest and back. We're going to be doing, um, oh, okay. Hopefully we're still going. I just got a storage thing on my phone. All right. So go ahead and grab your weights for chest press and we'll lay down on the bench you can lay on the floor okay whatever works for you we're gonna go chest press and then we'll stand up and go into a row all right so i think i'm on there all right we're gonna just press right above the chest and down <sighs> nice and controlled in both directions Inhale down, feel a little bit of a stretch across your chest, and then press it up. Good job, you guys. Keep that neutral spine. So right now I have my knees up, my feet up on the bench, just because this bench is a little bit high for me. You don't want to let that back arch. Down, nice and controlled. Up, nice and controlled. Good job, you guys. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, we're doing about 16. Up, down, and up. Down, and up. All right, let's do about eight more. So if your weight is really light maybe you're going a little faster and you're going to do more reps that's fine right if your weight's heavier and you're already feeling like you're hitting that fatigue point then that's fine too maybe your number is 12. totally fine as long as you're challenging yourself i'm going to do about four more four Three, two, and one right there. All right, we're going to carefully roll it up. Maybe you use a knee. Set one weight off to the side. All right, we're going to just use one weight. We're going to do a one arm row. So I'm going to have my knee up here. One knee's up. One leg is down, 
back is flat. I'm gonna pull this weight. Think about pulling it to the top of your hip bone. Right there, so you're really squeezing that shoulder blade back and down. I'm not crunching it up here. Okay, keep that neck long. Pull it back and then down. Back and then down. Squeeze it back and down. So it's almost like a single count up and then two counts down. So I'm just getting that little pause before I lower it down. Good work, you guys. Abs are pulled in. Keep that back flat. I'm just looking out in front of my hand, keeping my neck in line with the rest of my back. All right, we got about eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Good work, you guys. Four. Three. Two. Last one right here. And one right there. Carefully bring it up. Ooh, I'm dripping. All right, so we have that other side. I'm gonna put my knee up, hand on that bench. Back is flat, abs are pulled in. Think about pulling that weight to your hip bone so that it really pulls your shoulder blade back and down. And then lower it nice and slow. So it's up, little pause, down for two. Up, little pause, down for two. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Neck is relaxed, just looking out in front of that hand. Breathe. Good work, you guys. And we're gonna do everything twice. So if this first set didn't challenge you with your weights and you have a heavier option, then that second set, try to go a little heavier. Maybe you won't be able to do all 16 reps. Totally fine. The idea with weights is you want to overload those muscles to fatigue. So you got to find a weight that challenges you. All right, of course, I really haven't been counting, so I'm going to do four more. Four. Three. Squeeze. Come on. Two, and last one right there. Good work, you guys. All right, so we're gonna do all of that one more time. Little stretch. So starting with that chest press. I'm gonna lay this towel down. So if you need to change those weights out, change those weights out. Here we go. So we're going to press it up and then down, nice and controlled. Feel that little bit of a stretch across your chest. It doesn't have to be overly stretched, just a little bit, and then press it up. Down for two and press it up. Down for two and press it up. Abs are engaged. Find that neutral spine. Exhale up, inhale down. Good work, you guys. Nice job. All right, keep breathing. Let's do about eight more. That's eight, seven, six, five. Good work, you guys. 
Come on, we got four, three, two. All right, last one. And one and done right there. Good job. Carefully roll up. Set one weight off to the side. We just have that one one arm row. So I'm going to put my foot up on that bench. Okay. If you have a chair, maybe you're just using the chair seat and you don't have your foot up, you're just using it to support, right? Okay. If you have a step bench, you could actually do what I'm doing on the floor. Your leg would just be out a little bit. Um, or you could just support right here if you just wanted to do a one arm row and support that back with that other arm. So that would be an option too. I should have shown you that the first round, right? All right, here we go. So remember, we're pulling that to the top of the hip bone, get that little squeeze, shoulder blades back and down. That little pause at the top, really making that muscle work. Good work, you guys. Nice job, you guys. Come on. Make sure you're breathing. Abs are pulled in. Back is flat. All right, let's do about eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Right there, nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Grab that weight with the other hand. Switch legs that are on that bench. All right, here we go. Pull that weight, top of the hip bone. Lower it nice and slow. Pull it up, squeeze that shoulder blade back and down. Abs are in. Good job. Nice work, you guys. Really think about what you're working. Working that back. Squeezing that shoulder blade up and down, up and back. Eight, seven, six, five, good work, four more, right here, you got this, three, two, and one, woohoo, all right, done with that part, good job, get a drink. If you need a little stretch in that upper back, that chest, shake those arms out. All right, so moving on, we're gonna go on to triceps and biceps. After I get that drink. All right, so we're gonna lay on the bench again. You can do this on a low bench, you can do this on the floor if you don't have a bench. We're gonna do skull crushers. Um, you can do it with two weights. So if you have two dumbbells, you can go um, one on each side, working those triceps, so you'll be laying back, lowering those weights right by your ears. Um, I'm actually gonna use one dumbbell, and you can do that too. These dumbbells are just a little bit big and bulky. Um, I always feel like I'm gonna take my eye out. So I'm gonna lay back. So abs are in. Again, you've got that neutral spine. I've got my, my feet up on the bench. So my back is a little bit more neutral. And I'm gonna get this just a little bit of an angle right there. That's where I'm gonna start and stop. I'm not gonna move from my shoulders anymore. Just bending at my elbows, bringing that down to the top of my head and then press it up, down, 
and press. So if I had two weights, they might be going to my ears because I'm doing the dumb, one dumbbell, I'm taking it to the top of my head and press. Elbows, try to keep those elbows in, nice and narrow. Squeeze those triceps, try not to move from your shoulders. So I'm not doing any of this. I'm just extending, squeeze, lower it down, keep those elbows in, extend, lower it down, slide those shoulder blades down, keep that neck long. Good work, you guys. Come on, squeezing those triceps right there, every time. All right, we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Right there. All right, before you get off that bench, just set that weight to the side. And we're gonna just do a little bicycle while we're up here. So rotating that shoulder up and across. I'm gonna try not to fall off this bench. If I do, just keep on going. So keep that back pressed to the floor or the bench or whatever you're laying on and just think about rotating that shoulder across. Looking up, hands are light. Good work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job. Just a little bit of abs in there. Carefully bring it up. All right, so from there, we're going to take it into our uh, curls. We're going to do an in-out curl. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to take it out there. So depending on your weight, you might be able to get 16. Um, if your weight's a little bit lighter, then maybe you're going a little faster and a few more reps. Or if it's heavier, maybe you're shooting for 12. So I'm gonna shoot for 16. We'll see how, how we do. Here we go. So we got one, two, shoulders are back. Don't swing those weights. Three, just think about those biceps. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, eight more, eight, can I alternate? Yep, seven, six, five, four more, you guys, four, three, two, and one, nice work, good job. Stretch those uh, arms out a little bit, shake them out. All right, so if that either one of those sets didn't challenge you, maybe you wanna change it up a little bit. Grab something a little heavier, a little lighter, whatever you need. All right, we're gonna start with the tricep. Do a second set of those. So you're gonna lay back again on that bench So elbows are in, try to keep them as narrow as you can, get that slight angle with the weight, and that this is where you're going to start and stop. So don't move from your shoulders, just stay right here, and then bend at your elbows, take that weight right to the top of your head, and extend right back to that slight angle. So I'm not bringing it all the way up 
over my chest. I'm keeping that angle so that I've got resistance the whole time on those triceps. Good work, you guys. Squeeze those triceps. Come on. We have one more little round after this one. We'll be done. All right, we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four. Elbows are in. Three, two. Hold this last one at 90, 90, little press right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Roll it up. All right, gonna grab that other one. How are we doing? I know Liz is doing core and more at 9.45, so I usually try to finish this by then. All right, Ooh, I'm getting like a little side pony going. Woo. All right, so we're going curl straight up and then out to the side. So straight up, get that curl. Elbows are down at your side. Don't press them into your sides. And then up. That's six. Seven, eight, all right, eight more, you guys. If you've got a few more in there, go for it. Eight, seven, you can always alternate. Six, five, four more. You got this, come on, four, three, two, and uh, one right there. Woohoo! Good work. Shake those arms out. Nice job. All right, we're gonna finish off with a squat. Um, I call this the shot put squat. We've done these before, it's one of my faves. You're gonna just take one dumbbell. You can hold the other one at your side if you want, a little more weight for your squat, um, but it's for your shoulder. So we're gonna take it down, and then press it up, down and press it up. So you're getting that rotation. So find what you can lift with this shoulder and rotate. All right. So we're here. You can hold that hand on your side or I like it out here. I'm gonna squat down, press, down, press. work you guys so you got that squat sit back and then press and rotate abs are in all right I'm gonna do four more four good work three two ah, one all right, I'm not sure if that was 16 or not. It felt like it. All right, other side. So, got that squat and shot put right here. Breathe. Good work, you guys. Almost. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. All right, grab both weights. I'm gonna do some calf raises, heel raises. So with those feet straight to start. Good. So, 
Anybody else breathing hard? <laughs> that felt like a little cardio work, a little high intensity. So we're burning, burning a few extra calories there. All right, so drive those heels up, far up on those toes as you can go. Squeeze those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn those toes out. We're only gonna do one set of calf raises, but then we'll get one more set of the shot put squats in. Good job, you guys. Drive those heels up, up. Eight, seven, good work you guys. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, turn those toes in. Last round, here we go. Lift, try to keep those heels out. Finish strong, here we go you guys. Come on. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right there. Nice job. All right. Ooh, we got like three minutes. So we're going to do 12 on each side. Shot put squat. Here we go. 12. 11, 10, 9, here we go, 8, 7, you got this, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, woohoo, other side, last 12, you guys, here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, last 4, come on, 4, 3, 2, and 1, Woo! good work you guys. Shake those arms out. All right. Awesome job today. Let's get one more little quad stretch in since we just kind of topped it off with those squats. We'll do a little stretching, very little, because it's almost 945. And I want you to be able to catch Liz's corn more. Good job, you guys shake that leg out. Other side, keeping that knee down. If you need a little, hold on to something for balance, hold on to that. Great job today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember to like, give us thumbs up or hearts. Leave a comment just so we kind of know who's out there, who's watching. We really appreciate you guys watching, giving us comments. Let's round that back. Little rotation here. Whew. Looks like another awesome day, so aren't you glad you got this done with? Take a nice deep breath up. Open that chest up. And one more, up. And exhale. All right, you guys, awesome job this morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you soon. All right, take care.